Hello isopod fans, this is Wally from Supreme Isopods and you're here to watch another isopod setup review. Somebody sent in their, wait a minute, nobody sent in a setup. We're going to change this one around totally. Nanette, Crystal, come here and have a seat. So in this video, you're going to review Nanette and Crystal and see how they do setting up an isopod setup. The isopod vlog. Okay, we'll be right back and I'll show you what we're going to set up here. Okay, here's what we're doing. We received this isopod setup and I'm going to, uh, we're going to set this up and it's going to be on my desk in my office. And I, when I say we, it's not really we, it's Nanette and Crystal. I'm not involved with this at all. What do you think? Is that going to work? Do it. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm go power. Down for a go power. Okay, Definitely. this we received from DBD Pet. Thank you very much for the setup. It's really cool. I'll leave a link in the description. And this is going to be all up to Nanette and Crystal to read off what's on here. Yeah, And, and set everything up, put the isopods in, do everything from this point. Think you can handle it? Yes, I can, and I can do what my grandma to do. And what we're going to do is Nanette and Crystal are going to set this whole system up, and we're going to put some isopods in it, and what I want everybody to do is leave a comment below. If they missed a step, if they missed something, if you have a question, anything that you want to ask, leave a comment below on this video, and I'll address those see how they do. See if they hit everything with these isopod setup reviews that you've seen before. And let's go ahead and get to it. Um, the show's yours. I'm getting out of here. I'm bugging out. I am their granddaughter. Thank okay. you, Crystal. Thank you. Okay, good luck, guys. Okay, we have a deluxe isopod starter kit here, Crystal. And, and it is made with acrylic. And it has ventilation. See the holes in the top? Yeah, and... Why do they have holes in the top? Because if we don't have holes, they will die. What does the holes give them? Air. Air, okay. And this is a slide on and a slide off. Perfect. Do you want to take it all the way off so that we can start working then? Okay, in this we will get all of our substrate, we'll put our leaves in and our food, and then we're going to go and get isopods and put those in. Yeah. It has ventilation holes. Why does it have ventilation holes? If they don't have air, they will die. Okay, and do you see holes are on the top and yeah. they're on the side too? Yes. Okay, all right, so I'm going to have you put some of the substrate in, and this is a special substrate for the isopods. And, and these... Things are definitely from baby D B D pets. Okay, just a second here. I'm trying to find the opening for our bag. Here we go. Okay, so you want to mm. pour that in there for me? Yep. Make it about this thick. Shake it in. Shake, shake, shake. Not all of it though, okay. So okay, stop. Now spread it around. All right, pat it down a little. Okay, that's we'll good. add water in a little while. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, what does Grandpa always do on one side of the tank? Oh, I know. What? Let me show you. Okay. Guys, I know how to make closures for isopods. Pull them out with your fingers. There you go. Sprinkle them in. Because you're going to mix them in a little bit. Okay. 
Let's mix them up in the dirt a little bit. Mix them around in here like this so they get in there too. Okay, crunch them a little. See how you can crunch them? And then mix them in. Good. And then we have some extras. I'll put those on one side, right? Yep. Because they like to eat those. Mm -hmm. And uh, okay. Now, this dirt looks like it already has, or the substrate down in the bottom, looks like it already has some sphagnum moss in them. But we'll probably add a little bit more over here, right? Because yeah. we always have a wet side yeah, and a dry and side. Yeah, and look right here. This right. is the sphagnum moss side. Right. And why do we put leaves in? What do they do to the leaves? They eat them. They eat the leaves, and you're right. do you see these holes? That means other animals ate them oh, already. Okay. And then there's some food here, it says. This is called springtail and isopod food. It's a 100% natural and, diet. So it's um, point we're going to just sprinkle a little tiny bit right over here. Just a little. Um, wait, just a little. A little bit more. A little more. Good. All right. Okay. Now what do we need to do? Oh, I'm going to be right back. We are back, guys. We got the sprayer, All right. a piece of wood, and the what isopods, and, what is this? and the spangum moss. Spangum moss. Spangum moss. Okay, can you put that right here? Yes, I can. Put them down on the ground. There you go. Some of, the, some of it is wet or A little bit. Mm -hmm. And that's okay if it's a little wet. Okay, now very There's carefully. There's in here. Very and carefully, I want you just to spray a little bit, not a whole lot. Okay, that's good for now. And the springtails we'll with isopods. Springtails and isopods. I'll we'll sprinkle a little there. Oh, I can. All right, you're gonna put the wood in. I'm gonna put the wood in. Okay. Here we go. How often do you think you feed these isopods, Crystal? Um, once a day. Once a week? Maybe. Once Twice a, week. a week. Twice a week. Now these were called, we might have to ask Grandpa for help because I don't remember. These are Armandolidium Nisatum Pearl. And we're going to put them in. Okay, slowly put them in. And just sprinkle them in real slow. Be nice. There you go. Put some here, but over on the side, not on the wood. Go around the side. There you go. Good. I need to put some. Now, do you see them? Yes. Look, there's one there. Um, they are making their new home. Are they liking their new home? Can I? Can we show you them? Let's show them. There's your setup. I hope it's what Grandpa wants. And let me... I'm going to sprinkle some dirt off of the wood. Okay. Oh, look it. All right. There we go. And then you slide the top on. Let's slide on the top. Good job. And show them. The top is now on, and they are all ready for their new home on Grandpa's desk. Yes. And they are having fun. On... Oh, I see a baby, guys. I mean, three babies. Hit the like button and subscribe. Turn on the notifications. 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 And share it with some of your friends. That's a great idea, Crystal. Thanks for watching. Bye.